Hello everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you today food microbiology topic on low temperature treatment as a method of food preservation. But before starting, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Let's have a brief why we do low temperature treatment as a method of food preservation. Controlling temperature is a crucial strategy for preventing food degradation both biologically and physically. The simplest and most efficient way to increase shelf life without compromising quality is to apply low temperature treatment during handling, shipping and storage. The process of treating food at low temperatures involves extracting heat energy from the food which either lowers the temperature or transfers the food's condition from liquid to solid. For efficient preservation, low temperature can be paired with other preservation methods which is hurdles. Traditional low temperature food preservation techniques include freezing and refrigeration. Now let's see the table of content of our today's topic. First we will learn about the refrigeration method, its principle, requirements, application and limitation. Then comes the chilling method. And lastly we will learn about freezing, its principle, stages, types, effects and application and types of conventional freezing methods and the quality of frozen food on which factor it depends. Now first head to the refrigeration method. Storage at a temperature above the freezing point of food is referred to as refrigeration. Between 16 degrees Celsius and minus 2 degrees Celsius is the freezing refrigeration temperature range. According to the kind of food, commercial or residential refrigerators are typically run from 0 to 7.2 degrees Celsius. Perishable foods can be preserved for days or weeks with refrigeration. This method aids in inactivating the enzyme which helps to prevent food from accelerated degradation but does not necessarily kill bacteria. And this method also aids in preserving the inherent organolepitic and qualitative characteristics of many foods. Now let's learn the principle behind the refrigeration. Low temperatures inhibit microbial growth and slow down chemical enzymatic reaction. The requirements for refrigerated storage number one regulated low temperature number two circulation of air number three humidity regulation and lastly number four gas atmosphere modification let's learn the applications of refrigeration it is relevant at every stage of the food supply including shipping receiving storing and retailing so for the purpose of preservation Number 1. Raw fresh foods, which includes fruits, vegetables, meat, fish and eggs. Number 2. Rice, latin, curry and other prepared dishes are processed foods. Number 3. Canned goods. Lastly, number 4. Beverages and drinks. Let's learn the limitations of refrigerated storage. Fruits and vegetables can suffer chill damage if the refrigeration temperature is not maintained. Poor colors occur from the natural ripening enzymes reduce activity when bananas and tomatoes are stored below 13 degrees Celsius. The issue of food taste exchange can also arise when foods are stored in the refrigerator. Under refrigeration, vitamin C and other nutrients loses might be observed. Some goods like bread do not need to be chilled. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Second, chilling. It is comparable to refrigeration in that the temperature is above the freezing point of the food and varies from 0 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. With the help of this diagram, you can see what food requires which temperature. Number 1 includes 1 degree Celsius, which includes fresh fish, meat, sausage, smoked meat, and breaded fish. Second, 0 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius include canned meat, milk, cream, yogurt, salad, pasta, soup, pizza, pastry, cakes, unbaked dough, etc. Number 3 includes 0 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius food includes fully cooked meat, butter, cheese, fruit juices, vegetables, 
cooked rice, etc. Now let's come to the freezing method. The term freezing describes the process of storing food in a frozen state by keeping the temperature below the freezing point. Typically, a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius or below is required for successful freezing. Because most infections do not develop below 3.3 degrees Celsius and food spoiling organisms do not thrive below minus 9.5 degrees Celsius, microbiologically speaking, minus 18 degrees Celsius storage is not necessary necessary. However, the use of minus 18 degrees Celsius is adequate to halt enzymatic degeneration and to sluggish non-enzymatic process with certain expectations. Foods may be preserved for months or even years by freezing provided the right packaging is used. Now let's learn the principle of freezing. At temperatures over 10 degrees Celsius, food spoiling bacteria proliferate quickly but cytotrophs thrive below 0 degrees Celsius as long as there is still water that isn't frozen. So making water inaccessible by turning it into a crystal form can stop microbial development or to some extent kill microbial cells. Water crystallization serves to raise the solute concentration which in turn helps to raise osmotic pressure or lower water activity. Low temperatures reduce the amount of enzyme activity, chemical reactions, and microbial development. You can see with the help of this diagram the stages of freezing. First, cooling of food or removal of sensible heat just above the freezing point. Then, removal of latent heat which is change of state of water from liquid to solid. And then, the ice crystal formation is done which is crystallization. You can see the process in a graph method which is to the temperature and time. So the size of ice crystals affect the quality of frozen food and there are many types of freezing depending on how the ice crystal forms. We have two types of freezing. One is slow freezing and the second is rapid freezing. With the help of this table you can see the difference between slow freezing and the rapid freezing. You can see the process characteristics of slow freezing which is rate of decreasing temperature for it is 2 degrees Celsius or equal or less than it per minute whereas for rapid freezing more than 10 degrees Celsius or equal to it per minute. For ice crystal size slow freezing produces large whereas rapid freezing produces small crystals. Location of ice crystal is extracellular for slow freezing whereas for rapid freezing it is intracellular. And number 4 cell damage for slow freezing is shrinkage of cell whereas for rapid freezing it is less damage. Number 5 drip loss on taunting. For slow freezing you can see more drip loss whereas in rapid freezing less drip loss. Lastly the quality of food. For slow freezing, less food quality whereas for rapid freezing, good food quality with better texture and flavor. With the help of this diagram you can see the difference between these two types of freezing. Now let's head to the effects of slow freezing. Cells may burst if the freezing rate is too low, releasing nutrients that drip throughout the taunting process, reducing the food's organoleptic and nutritional value. So, the quality of food is inversely proportional to size of ice crystals. The application of freezing for food preservation. With the help of this table, you can see the applications for certain foods. Now, let's head to the types of conventional freezing methods. We have plate freezing, which is the contact with the cool surface. Second, immersion freezing which is the contact with cold liquid. Third, cabinet freezing is the contact with the cold gas. Several types of freezing are also present, which are room or cabinet freezing, air blast freezing, tunnel freezing, spiral freezing, Lourdes beds freezing, and lastly, belt freezing. 
there is another conventional method which is cryogenic freezing which is the use of cryogenic liquid with the help of this table you can see which type of foods are preserved with what types of freezing methods so the quality of frozen foods depend upon the following factors fresh food quality composition of food pretreatment techniques choice of freezing techniques rate of freezing outstanding hygiene standards packaging situation and lastly process of taunting so that's it for today thank you so much for watching till the end don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button thank you